All right, guys. Well, we just arrived with the truck. It was an hour drive, and we're gonna go hunt buffalo in the floodplains. And uh, now we got about an hour drive in one of these crazy machines. So <laughs> I've never seen something like this before in my life. I have on Star Wars. Star Wars? Yep. <laughs> I think this is literally what they used it in the Star Wars film. <laughs> but, uh, but no, it's, uh, it's gonna be another hour ride just to get to the floodplains. And there's a lot of water this time of year in comparison to normal years. So we need these big machines to be able to get through the deep waters just to get to where the buffalo are. So that's the plan. And you're, what are you hunting? Sable, heart of beast. And water buck. Water buck, reed buck, warthog. Yeah, there's a lot of critters that live in the floodplain, so we're gonna be flinging some arrows today, hopefully, so good luck. Here we go. Giant war dog. Yes. Freaking, freaking smoked him, guys. We've been after a big war dog this whole trip because here in Mozambique there's no rocks, it's all sand. So these the tusks on the war dogs get huge. And so we were actually heading in to go Cape Buffalo hunting and we spotted this old giant word hog. That thing's probably 15 to 20 years old. We've been looking this whole trip and we spotted him and I just smoked him at 54 yards with my Cape Buffalo setup. So keep in mind, this thing is shooting super slow with a 900 grain arrow. So that was like, arc on that thing was crazy. And it looked like it went right through the pump station. So, yes. Yeah, let's go through. Big word hog down. Good bubbly blood. I mean, he's gushing right out of the gate. So that's 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 good bubbly blood. That looks like a double long shot. So yeah, so we gotta fight my arrow. Trackers found the arrow. Blood looks really good. Should have been a, a money shot. So. Just gonna let them earn their living, and and uh, it kills me not tracking it myself. It really does. I mean, this is this is a lot of fun for them and how they make their money. So I'll let them do it. Let's, let's follow behind. Them. Yes. <laughs> there he is, guys. Thanks, man. Wow. Freaking warthog of a century. Look at this thing. So that was... Look at this guy. So, 54 yards in Africa. This is the money shot right there. So, right through the top of the heart. But look at this old warthog. We were in the flood plains here at the co on the, the coastal part of Mozambique, and they get monstrous out here because there is nothing, there is nothing that uh, can rub these off because it's all sand. Big old face on him like this. Here, let me turn so I'm not so chef. Wow! Check him out. Look at that. 
Poon, how old do you think this thing is? It must be 15 to 20 years old. Maybe closer to 20 if you look at how long the warts are and its condition. Yeah, it's just old. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one to take, man. Well done. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, these are really polished. I wish you guys could feel this. I mean, this is so cool. And again, it's not very often you get to shoot something that's 15 to 20 years old. I mean, this guy has outwitted lions and leopards and hyenas and wild dogs and jackals. I mean, who knows all the predators, leopards. I mean, there's so much out here that wants to eat these guys. And he's outsmarted them all till today. So that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, these things are crazy sharp too. Wow. These aren't sharp, but this right here, I'll tell you, if that got a hold of you, I mean, that is not shave sharp, but it's enough to slice you wide open. So, man, what a cool, unique warthog. And 53 yards with the Hoyt RX-3 with a Cape Buffalo setup. That's a 900 grain arrow, so it's not shooting very fast. So that arc of that arrow is pretty intense. I'm very proud of that shot too. You know, that is exactly where I was aiming, right at the top of the heart through both lungs. And he didn't go, but maybe 60 yards at a full sprint. So maybe, <sighs> couldn't be more excited. We were actually on our way in to go Cape Buffalo hunting. So I think we're gonna get right back to that. And we got a lot of meat for camp and, uh, and for the local villages. So <sighs> I couldn't be more excited right now. Thanks, Danny. No Appreciate problem, it, brother. Man. That's an awesome thing. Yeah, well done. Not bad. Really? Well done. African bow hunting adventures right here. Yeah, what do you think that's, of that? That's what it's all about, man. And um, what I like about this big, it's not often that you get them curling in like this. Yeah. Normally they go out like this. It's a beautiful pig. I'm super proud of you. That shot was amazing. Well done. Thank you. Super I appreciate shot. that. That's pretty cool, huh? Well done. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> Alright, let's load him up. Thank you guys. Sorry about it. Thank you so much for your support, and if you want to join the bow hunting family, hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on notifications to be one of the first to see our new videos posted. If you're new to our channel, check out our other videos. We have over 70 bow hunts that I think you'll enjoy. And if you'd like to keep up with us daily, make sure you go over to Instagram and give us a follow there, where we post every single day and it's always outdoor related.